Every person that comes into this studio that I photograph, there's something wonderful about them. and There's something exciting about them. And it's my responsibility as a professional to find that exciting something about them and to bring it to the surface. My name is Steve Chastain. I own Expressions Photography here in Louisville, Tennessee. And I've been doing photography longer than most of you have probably been alive. I started shooting in 1971 and have been shooting ever since. Never have quit. I've loved every minute of it. My journey in photography started um, way back a long time ago. Uh, one day my high school principal walked up to me and he said, Steve, you're going to become our school photographer. And I said, oh really, I don't know anything about cameras. And he said, well, you're never in class anyway, so I might as well give you a reason to be out of class. So he handed me a Yashica manual camera, a stack of this stuff we call film. Uh, you probably don't know what that is now. But anyway, it was the stuff we used to put pictures on. And uh, he said, um, you're going to take pictures. And so I started taking pictures around school. It gave me a reason to skip class. It was a great idea. And uh, so I took a whole bunch of rolls of film to his office. I laid it down on his desk and I said, here's your photography. And he said, no, those are just, those are just rolls of film. You have to process them now. I said, I don't know how to process film. And he said, that's okay. I got somebody that's going to teach you. So he sent me downtown to an old fella. It's probably, I don't know, he was old as dirt. I don't remember. But he, um, he taught me how to process my own film. And uh, I've been sh I fell in love with it. Inspiration in photography. Gosh, I, I probably get a question like that asked me once a week by my students. You know, Steve, where do you find your inspiration for pictures? You know, where, when that, uh, that last piece you did in the warehouse of the girl that was in the beautiful chair and she, and she was in this trashy looking warehouse, but she looked so elegant. Where did you get that oh, yeah. idea from? I don't know. <laughs> it just happens. Uh, you know, I I do um, I do spend an awful lot of time looking at other images. I spend a lot of time talking with other photographers. I do a, a lot of time meeting other photographers that I admire. Uh, I spend a month each year in Australia uh, studying over there with some of the top photographers in the world, simply because I know that. Australia is probably a year or two ahead of the United States in, sty in photo photojournalistic styles and things like this. And so I try to go over there, try to stay ahead of the game, you know. Um, so is photography a good field to get into? I think so. I love it. I think it's great. Is it a field for the faint of heart? No, it's not a field for the faint of heart because there are ups and downs in photography. For instance, at my weddings, they will run from about the 1st of May till about mm, the end of October, right in there, and then they start slowing down to the end of the year. Um, and then from December through April, um, there's virtually no weddings. <laughs> and so if you're depending just on wedding work, then you're going to be out of luck for several months. You might have to find something else to uh, provide income for yourself. So I, um, I teach photography at the university, and I enjoy that. And, and then I, I work here in the studio, and it's just uh, it's been a good life. I've, sure, yeah, I work two jobs. But uh, I have to do that in order to make ends meet. Uh, ten years ago, I could do it with just the studio. But uh, today, because of the influx of so many photographers into the market, um, it's difficult to do that. So if I had to give advice to somebody, um, future photographers, about um, being in photography, what would, what's the key piece of advice? I'm fixing to tell you something that you need to keep all your entire life. If you ever find yourself shooting a picture, and you look at the back of the camera, and you say, hmm, I can fix that in Photoshop. Slap yourself as hard as you can and get it right in camera.